Ashton Kutcher, 44, revealed he first bumped into the former One Direction member at a mutual friends party. However, at the time the actor had never heard of One Direction, let alone the singer's successful solo career, leading to an incredibly awkward encounter. The actor recalled how he first met the award-winning singer at his neighbor's karaoke party in an interview with Esquire. While only describing his neighbor as maybe the best singer today, Ashton was bowled over by her karaoke performance, thinking to himself that the competition may be a bit unfair. The next volunteer took to the stage with an ABBA song, singing with such incredible talent that the actor decided to go up to him once he got off stage. Unbeknownst to the actor at the time, the kid was Grammy Award-winning artist Harry Styles. Ashton recalled telling him, You're like a karaoke ringer. You're really good. Harry humbly accepted the compliment, saying he really appreciated it, and went on with his night. Ashton returned to his wife, Mila Kunis, and another friend, still singing the praises of that guy, when they exclaimed, it's Harry Styles. After a bit of explaining, the actor finally realized he had been applauding a professional singer on his karaoke talents. Ashton continued, I was like oh my god, now I feel like a jerk. I feel so dumb. The actor concluded, I just really want to say I'm sorry Harry Styles, but you're really good at karaoke man. Like really good. Don't miss, Harry is currently nominated for six Grammy Awards, the ceremony for which is taking place this weekend. While Ashton has been relatively hidden from the public eye over the last few years, the star's recent interview revealed some hilarious moments from his personal life. The actor shared one startling event in Italy which led to him giving up marijuana after taking a THC mint. It was shortly after the actor had undergone a vasectomy and as the high hit, he became convinced something was wrong. Ashton believed he had lost all feeling below his waist and, in his panic, also found himself unable to locate his room. Mila stepped in, guiding Ashton to his bed, where he then started doing some incredibly incorrect maths in his head. The internationally renowned actor became paranoid that he was going broke and convinced himself that he couldn't even afford to be here right now. The next morning, in a far better mindset, Ashton took a second look at his finances and realized I had moved the decimal point, 